In this video, we'll create first Svelte project and learn about structure of the Svelte project. So, let's create Svelte project first. For that, open VS Code. Then open Terminal. And type this command. npx sv create and project name. If you are running this command for first time, then it might ask you to install Svelte package. So make sure to install it. Now, choose Svelte kit minimal template. Also add TypeScript for type safety. Here chose Tailwind CSS for now. Scroll using arrow keys and select packages using spacebar. Now it asking for Tailwind plugins to add. I'll add typography for now. Now, it's asking for package manager. I'll use npm package manager. Now, it's creating our project. Project is created, use cd command to enter into project. Then run npm install command to install required packages if there are any. Then run npm run dev command to run the app. Our app is up and running. Now let's understand project structure. If we open project, we can see several folders and files inside it. First comes the node modules folder contains all node packages and modules which we are used in our app. We won't have to open this file as we won't be editing code of any package. Next comes the src folder. src folder is the main source directory where you write all the app's code. It contains all the route pages, components, etc. Inside src folder, there is a lib folder. Lib folder is used to place reusable components, utilities, or shared logic. File placed inside it cannot be used as routes which means we can't access it directly. We have to use these files in route files. Next is the routes folder. This is the main folder which contains all routes and pages. All files and folder inside it will be treated as routes. Like, currently it contains plus page and plus layout files. Plus page is considered home page as it is located at root directory of the routes folder. Later we'll learn to create more pages and routes. Next, layout file is like template which can be reused inside different pages. We can also create multiple layouts for other page but we'll learn that in next coming lessons. Other files inside src folder are app.css and app.html file. App.css is the main CSS file where CSS files are injected and app.html is where whole Svelte app is injected. Next comes the static folder. It is used to place static files and assets like images or fonts, etc. Next comes the package.json file. This file contains metadata about the project, dependencies, and scripts. Next comes the svelte.config.js file. This file defines Svelte's configuration, such as preprocessors or extensions. Next is tailwind.config.ts file. It contains the configurations of Tailwind CSS. Next comes the vite.config.js. This file configures vite, which is the build tool used by Svelte. Now let's see the anatomy of Svelte files. Now open plus page.svelte file. Right now, it contains heading and paragraph but no script or style tags. When we create these sections then structure of the Svelte file looks like this. At top resides the script section. This section is for JavaScript logic. It used to define variables, import modules, or declare reactive statements. Anything in this section interacts directly with the template. Next comes the template itself. This is where you write the HTML structure of your component, enriched with Svelte's template syntax for binding data and events. Then comes the style section. This section contains styles scoped to the component. The styles won't leak into other components unless explicitly defined as global. With this, this section is complete. 